Hey guys, in this section of the tutorial, we'll go over installing PHP my, my admin application and, and then being able to log in into our instance of MySQL and create a couple of databases and users so we can use those in our WordPress installations. So in our last section, we went over how to create and, and publish, deploy uh, your MySQL database to your server. If you have not watched that, please go back and watch that video first. We'll also have that in our um, notes section below this video. Um, by the way, the entire tutorial here will also be in our website. If you go to zoomadmin.com on the tutorials, you will see the complete tutorial of um, creating and deploying multiple WordPress sites, uh, the entire entire sections of the of this tutorial. Now in this in this section we will just cover PHP my admin. So let's go ahead and create PHP my admin application here. When I click on create, you will see that it's not in this list, so we'll have to click on browse more. And it's here. You can also search by it, but it's the first one here. So we go ahead and select that and click on uh, select. You will see that it's being selected here. And we have to name our application. And I'm just gonna call it PHP my admin one. Hit continue and select a server to deploy to. I'm gonna select the same server. Uh, the the, t the key difference is if you select a different server, uh, you will need to use the public IP and port number to log in. But I'll show you that in a second. So that's all we have to do to deploy. You just have to click on uh, publish here. With the default settings, is fine. Uh, publish. And again, this will take a minute, minute or so to uh, create and publish to our server one. So I'll pause the video and come back when it's done. Okay guys, so our application is now installed and running. And if we click on it, we will also see a public IP URL. So you have, if you have not mapped a domain, you could, by, by the way, you could map a domain to this app as well. Um, you can map a domain to any any web application. So, but in this case, we probably don't need a domain for PHP admin. We can just use the port and public IP. So we can click and see that it's it's running now and it, it loads fine. So now we need to log in into our MySQL um, MySQL database here. So I would suggest that, you know bring up a notepad so just to take some notes here. So we know the name of the application is this. So we put the name here, MySQL1. We know the server IP is this. Um, and then we know the port number is this. So we just copy those so we kind of we kind of have these. And I, as I suggested last time, there's two ways to log in. One, either using uh, the name of our container Assuming you have uh, deployed PHP admin on the same server that's that's MySQL running on, um, but if not, you should you should use the public IP with the port. So first, we'll try to log in with our MySQL one um, container name, and the login is root, and the password is your MySQL password, the one that you saved when installing MySQL. By the way, if you have not watched that video, go back and watch that video first. Will give you an idea so we copy paste those here and click on go so now as you can see you are logged in into our mysql database here i'm also going to try to log out um, and log in using the public ip as well just make sure it's working so we know our public ip is this we know the port number is this we, we have to do colon port number and then the same login here and let's try to see if this works as you can see this also works again if you are installing php admin on the same server that that's got your mysql database installed and running you can just use the container name otherwise you can use the ip port combination to log in now uh, as you know, this this video uh, tutorials are, are, are part of a complete tutorial set, which covers the entire tutorial of 
creating a server, connecting it with Zoom Admin, and then deploying multiple WordPress sites, we are gonna deploy two WordPress sites. So for that, we are gonna need to create two databases. So I'm gonna go ahead and here, uh, click on databases, um, and just name, I'm gonna call it WordPress one, um, click on create, and I'm gonna, oops. So I'm gonna go back on the server, click on the server name here, databases again, and I'm gonna call it WordPress 2. Again, if you are deploying WordPress for a specific site, it's a good idea to name the, the database with the site name or something, so it, it's more meaningful to you. So I'm gonna go ahead and cl click on uh, create for our second database here. Um, next, we need to create users for these databases because we don't want to use the, um, the root user to connect to our databases for WordPress installations, so always create a user specific for that database uh, for security purposes so you can all be so it can only have access to that database. Uh, so we so we click on user accounts here. Um, add the user account. I'm gonna just for the sake of using this call it WP1 user. Um, hostname any is fine, password, just give it a password. I'm just gonna copy paste something. And make sure the native MySQL authentication is selected. Um, by the way, you can also generate password maybe let me try that this is better maybe i'm gonna copy this so click on generate password we'll generate and type in for you it will be a strong password and again make sure this native uh, mysql authentication is selected um and then Then just click on um, go. We don't need to set any global privileges. We only want to specify um, security for that WordPress one database here, but we'll do that in a different section. It doesn't look like it, it has a way to select, select that here. So I'm gonna click on go here to create, um, but I'm also gonna create the second database, uh, database user here. I'm gonna do the same thing, come here. Um, Click on odd and this time WP2 user. Um, password generate, again the same. Copy, make sure you copy paste password somewhere. Again, the same um, native MySQL authentication is selected and click on go. This will create the, the second user. Now if you click on user accounts here, you should see your users um, here. If I click on edit privileges, um, click on databases here. So, so it's not the global pr privileges we want to select and we want to select WordPress one. And click on go. check all I guess where that database so this will add basically privileges to WordPress one for this user here and we'll have to do the same thing uh, for our second user except select the second database here and then click on go check all and then click on go that's all we need to do to map our users with basically with the users um, with uh, with the databases and if you click on your database here, come back here, privileges, you will see that, that user is here. And same thing, if you click on second user, second database, go back to privileges, you'll see that, that user here. Uh, that's it for this video, guys. In our next section, we'll cover 
actually going and going ahead and installing WordPress two WordPress sites. After that, we'll follow up with uh, mapping domains. So in this tutorial, we covered how you can install PHP admin, create databases, users, and map them with each other, and so on. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to always reach out to us, uh, either michael at zoomadmin.com or support at zoomadmin.com. Thank you. See you in the next section.